Today, I've built an offense with the tallest hitters in MLB The Show. Of course, this offense is highlighted by the usual suspects, six foot seven beasts like Aaron Judge, O'Neill Cruz, and Tony Clark. But I've also got guys at six foot six like Giancarlo Stanton, Adam Dunn, and Jordan Walker. Now, it's kind of weird because Jordan Walker is listed at six foot six on his live series card, but he's six foot five on his future stars card. Did they just anticipate him to? shrink or is he actually 6'5 i have no idea but i'm using it. so this should be a fun offense to use but i will be pairing them with the shortest pitchers in mlb the show i've got two five foot seven starters in marcus stroman and hiroya miyagi and the shortest reliever i could find stands at five foot eight wyatt short <laughs> it's kind of fitting yeah, this bullpen is definitely a little rough. So I just want to see how this team plays. But if you guys want to see me do the opposite of this, if you want to see the shortest hitters and the tallest pitchers, leave a like on the video. The tallest hitters will have to take on Roki. All right, Marcus Stroman, hold it down for the little guys. If I was a real MLB pitcher, I would be on this pitching staff. 3-2, I'm going to go sinker away on Corbin Carroll. And we got the ground ball. There it is. Dude, just look at how big some of these guys are. There's Tony Clark. There's... David Hensley, six foot six second baseman, by the way. We got O'Neill Cruz at short. We got Jordan Walker at third, of course. Big Donkey in, in left. We got Kevin Alcantara in center and Judge in right. And dude, even with the mound, is Marcus Stroman still shorter over there? I, I don't know. I can't tell. I do need Stroman to pitch well because this bullpen is rough. All good. Double play coming up. Three, two. Man, this guy is patient. He does not bite on anything out of the zone, it feels like. There's a double play. Get it started, Hensley. Oh, what a turn from O'Neal Cruz. All right, we got the tall boys. This just gives Roki more surface area to use in the strike zone. I would not say I'm necessarily good with guys with the taller strike zone, but I'm definitely better than I am with the guys that have the shorter strike zone. I don't want to talk about it. Don't strike out, Judge. Don't do this. Ooh. Oh my God. I can't even make contact against Roki. Oh. Hey, I started off a little slow against Roki yesterday and Angel in the outfield. We'll be all right. Thank you. Please give me a swing and miss. Come on. Ground ball is cool too. Yeah, and hopefully I didn't miss any short or tall players for this video. I mean, I literally went through every single card in Diamond Dynasty, looking at every single player's height. It's possible that one or two slipped through the cracks, but I feel like I was pretty, you know, thorough with getting all the right players on this squad. 3-2, I do not know what he's going to throw here. Ball four, we got a base runner. Get through. Oh, oh, come on, O'Neal Cruz, drive him in. Yes! Ah, uh, I can't score there. It's really gonna be bases loaded for my worst hitter. <laughs> these are so hittable too. How do I keep missing these? That is very fitting that I would get bases loaded for the worst hitter in my lineup though, with two outs. Nice strikeout chipper with this pitch. Nasty, dude. Hey, down in the comments, let me know. Do you guys use anybody in your God Squad that's on the taller side? Do you use a guy like Aaron Judge, O'Neal Cruz, Giancarlo Stanton, Jordan Walker, Joe Maurer? Let me know in the comments if any of those guys are on your God Squad. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like using the tall players because their strike zone gets a lot bigger and it's kind of hard to adjust to. But let me know if there's anybody that works for you. Beautiful pitch. There it is, man. We're pitching so well. We got to get Stroman some run support. Oh, please. Adam Dunn. Big donkey. Go. Go. Oh. Hey, that'll be three bases. Come on, Tony. Up the middle. Just a ground ball to second base gets him in. 3-1. Not swinging at that. Honestly, I don't love taking a walk there because now the double play is set up. That That's going foul. No! And then I... Sw of course it comes down to David Hensley again. Dude, if that happens again, I'm going to probably pinch it for uh, David Hensley. I can't keep letting my big RBI spots come down to him. I started him. I gave him a shot. I got to give a shot to some of the six foot five dudes on the bench with better hitting stats. And at least he can... At least he makes plays. 
There it is. Come on, man. Five shutout innings for Strowman. Oh, the top of the order's got to wake up. These are the guys that should be getting it done. That's a freaking unreal pitch, dude. 99 with movement like that? Yeah, right. Judge! Double. 65 speed? Yeah, easy double. Gets him to third, but we got two outs again. Another guy left in scoring position. The silver lining here is that Roki is at 80 plus pitches. So hopefully I can get to his bullpen soon. I need Roki gone. I cannot hit him right now. At least not consistently. Another ground ball. Keep it going, Stroman. Kevin. Good recovery. He did not get a great jump. There it is! Giancarlo! I was sitting on that inside sinker and I finally got it. 400 feet, the first run for the big boys. And now that should get Roki out of this game. Oh, not a bad swing lefty-lefty against Aaron Loop. I think Tony Clark hits lefties pretty well. This is actually a good matchup for him. Off PCI. Uh, I was hoping for a little carry. Probably should put up a better swing on that, considering that's the exact location I was looking for. All right, so who are the best relievers I have? I do have a couple decent lefties, and I do have... Greg Holland, who's a better card than you would think. He's got 120 hits per nine and 125 clutch. At this point, Marcus Stroman hasn't given me a reason to consider taking him out of the game. But once again, it's only one run. Is anybody surprised? All right, what, what is this? All of a sudden, man, six shutout innings, and now I can't get an out. He's got two lefties coming up. I'm taking him out. I'm going John Franco. And he's going to go for the matchup. What are we going to see here? Trey Turner. Unbelievable. This guy couldn't hit anything for six innings and then starts off the seventh with three extra base hits. What is going on? Rod Carew, 396. I, I've seen it all, man. I don't know what his arm strength is, but I don't think it's going to be good enough to throw out 92 speed. What a travesty, dude. Five runs in the seventh. Make it six. That pitch wasn't even in the zone. This is one of those times where it feels like my opponent just passed the controller to his buddy. He has sent literally every man to the plate in the seventh inning. Unbelievable. Yeah, David Hensley, you can kick rocks, dude. Somebody else is coming in now. I'm going with the big hurt. He can play second base. And that's going to be a line out. I want to throw up. Let's go. Two good swings in a row. The comeback starts now. You sure about that? Would it be frowned upon if I rage quit this game? I'm running out of time, fellas. I only have six outs to play with and I'm down five. Make it four. There we go. There's something. Come on, let's build off that. We're not out of this. Why does it have to go right to him? not on it man that pci placement is not gonna cut it another line out yeah at some point man i've put up some bad swings but i've also got some unlucky breaks here well let's see what happens ninth inning i'm down four just trying to keep it here i'm not out of this game this game is not over if he put up six in one inning why can't i there we go okay Oh, that's a horrible pitch. Yeah, the line out sucks, doesn't it? Oh, this is Frank Thomas. I'm throwing the ball home, dude. I'm not making that play. Oh, no. How do you swing and miss on that, but you hit some of these other ones? All right, let's make it happen. Down four. Nope. Yeah, these... I deserve to lose. 
GG's. That was an abysmal offensive game for me. Granted, I had a couple tough breaks, but I also had bases loaded in the second inning, and then I left a guy on third in two other innings. Pretty horrendous game for me overall. That's, that's all it comes down to. Today, I played like shit.